the No Fake channel. Checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am going to be breaking, or at least trying to, this Titan Fitness Barbell. And frankly, why did I buy this barbell? Two main reasons. Number one, all of you. You have all been using my affiliate links which are in the description of today's video. I promise that all of the proceeds go right back into future reviews, and here you have it. And the second main reason, I wanted to see if I could just break the darn thing. I wanted to see if it was going to stand up. So let's unbox this Economy Titan Fitness Barbell. That was easy, at least in part because of the huge gash that must have been received during the delivery process. The bar itself appears to be in pristine condition, or at least Titan Fitness pristine condition. If this is your first time to the channel, by the way, give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I just review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide if it's right for your home gym, if it will exceed your expectations, and if it's worth that hard-earned money. So what does this thing cost? Titan Fitness recently raised a lot of their prices. However, that I believe was so that they can throw flash sales um, a few times a week. This retails for 120 US dollars. I picked this up on a flash sale for $99. And this is their economy barbell. And I know there's a lot of people trying to roll with a home home gym on a budget. And that's really why I picked this up to see, is this economy barbell worth $99 or is it going to be $99 worth of regret? For $99, I have my expectations set fairly low. But honestly, you're going to be very hard pressed to find an Olympic size barbell for $99 new. Even on Facebook Marketplace, you're gonna be hard pressed to find some rusted out Olympic sized barbell coming in at $100. Hey, let me know in the comments below, which barbell are you using? And frankly, let me know, how much did you pay for it? A few stats before we get into trying to bust this thing wide open. Number one, it is a 30 millimeter bar. Most bars in local gyms go from 28 to 29 millimeters. So this is going to be a little bit uh, thicker than you might be used to in your local gym. The, the coating is chrome on the sleeves, chrome on the shaft, and this is rated for 700 pounds. And oftentimes, most people aren't going to hit that 700 pounds. But when bars have low ratings on the poundage, there is a potential for the bar to bend, especially when you're doing super heavy exercises like we're going to do today. Hey, comment below how strong you think I am and how much I can lift, because I'm going to test that out on this bar in today's video. As far as the tensile strength, which is usually the best way to know how stiff a bar is and how much beating it can take, they don't even list it on the website. So I have to imagine it's it's fairly low. Now the knurling is listed as a medium knurling and right off the bat, yeah, it comes in at as a medium knurling. And honestly, the knurling is a lot better, at least feeling it in my hands than I thought. I thought it was gonna be just real clunky, really just poor design. And it doesn't feel that bad. And again, we're talking about $99. So let me have two or maybe even three weeks to beat the everlasting out of this home gym budget barbell and see if it's going to be worth your hard earned money. Two weeks later, and I just couldn't break this economy barbell. I was gonna even settle for a slight bend, and that didn't happen either. I did all the heavy movements that I could do with as much weight as possible, those heavy, heavy rack pulls, and even um, landmine rows to see how this thing would hold up. 
and it did hold up. Now there is a caveat. So first and foremost, let's talk about the pros. It claims to be an economy barbell and it's priced at that economy barbell price, $100. Obviously the everyday price is 120, but they throw flash sales around all the time. I paid 99 just last week. This thing went on sale again for 107. So right around that ballpark range, you're gonna get what you pay for. You're gonna get more than that $100 price point is. The knurling on here is medium, but unfortunately, I thought it was gonna be really poor knurling. It was gonna just be like not accurate, just wasn't gonna look right, wasn't gonna feel right. And it feels fine, it feels good in the hand. It feels like a brand new barbell. And on terms of benching, I thought it was gonna be a little bit awkward with the 30 millimeter bench, and I noticed it a little bit, but not that much. Clearly, I'm used to 28 millimeters, but many people in a local gym are probably using a 29 or 28 and a half millimeter bar to bench with. I don't think many people are gonna notice it after a week or two of use, and it didn't hinder me on my bench press. I just prefer 28 millimeters because of these small baby hands. As far as bending, as far as whip, when I was using three and a half to four plates on this thing, I didn't notice it. I mean, it was clearly an economy barbell. It's clearly gonna have more whip on the sides when you're shrugging super heavy or even deadlifting sumo, but it didn't really rain, ring out as being like super cheap or super flimsy. The only downside to this thing, I think biggest standout in terms of where this thing falls short is the uh, sleeve spin. There's almost no sleeve spin whatsoever. You can spin them, they do rotate, but clearly there's gonna, they stop almost immediately as soon as you let them go. And that's where the economy factor takes over. So who is this bar right for, right? Fate of the union time. Who should pick up this barbell? For you weekend warriors, for you people that are looking for a backup bar for your home gym, this one might be it if you're not that strong like me. Where do I put that strength level? If you don't plan to be going over three and a half plates consistently, this is gonna be a bar that's gonna get the job done and save you some money. For many of us, we go online and it's easy. We see tons of people like Baseman, Brandon, and even, even Coop doing four plates, five plates, got I don't even know how many plates. They're lifting up whole trucks. You're not them and neither am I. For most of us, we're never gonna be above that three plate threshold, even on some of our heaviest workout or working sets. We're not gonna get above that three plates. It's just not happening because hey, we don't need to or our strength's just not there. So if you are one of those people like me that doesn't really go that heavy, and again, we're gonna cap that at like three and a half plates, then this bar is going to get the job done and you should not be able to break it with that amount of weight. However, if you're one of those guys that sumo squats and all those other type of exercises that allows you to throw on tons and tons of plates on each side, then this bar isn't for you, clearly. I have to imagine that if you were gonna be using four plates or more on a regular basis, you'll eventually uh, bend this barbell to some extent, especially if you're doing sumo where your hands are in the middle versus on the outside, um, you're gonna find that there's probably gonna be a bend right here in the middle after you head, head over that 400 uh, the four plate threshold. It does say it's rated for 700 pounds, but because they never even list a tensile strength on here, I have to imagine that this thing would bend very quickly. I wanted to hate this Titan Fitness Economy barbell, and I don't. At $99, it over-delivered on my expectations, and it probably will over-deliver on yours. Drop a comment down below, which barbell are you currently using, and hey, what other pieces of equipment do you want me to review in the future? Because all of you have been using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video, and that certainly helps me pick up future pieces of equipment. So if there's something you want me to get my hands on, new or used, drop it in the comments below and I will do my darndest. If you came this far in the video, then you and I are like Tango and Cash. Band of Brothers, you, thank you for making it to the end. As usual, give the video a like, hit that red subscribe button, and never, ever save anything for the trip back. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or... Uh...